Hello friends, Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Jurassic World Fossil Strikers Triceratops. There's a lot of branding on this box, and there's a lot of branding on the Velociraptors box as well, but the big things are STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, and Triceratops. But then Fossil Strikers is in very little font right there, about to be eaten by a Velociraptor. But this is not a Velociraptor, this is a Triceratops. Let's open them up and take a look. Contained within the box are a stand for the completed figure, a stand for the collector card, the DNA activator in its own little container, and then six bags of dinosaur parts. The Triceratops comes with 23 different dino pieces, so I've got things lined up. So this is the skull to the tail, including the rib cages. These are the front feet. And these are the back feet. So we're going to go ahead, get them all assembled up for you with some jaunty tunes. The assembled figure is really kind of cool looking. I love the Triceratops. It's a, just a fantastic dinosaur in my opinion, and the model we end up with or the toy we end up with is cool. However, getting him put together requires a tremendous amount of figure strength. Finger strength. The molding and the actual detail on the figure is really good. Just really, really good. And it works incredibly well. Yes, the numbers that are right there, whoop, that are right there, do stick forward, but I'm sure if I assemble it slightly differently, you can get the numbers hidden away. So there is that. I, like I had the figure standing on his stand here, front, back, or you could turn it around, back, front. It's the exact same stand that the Velociraptor comes with. So exactly the same in terms of stands. Though, obviously, because this is a four-legged creature, you get more options and posability. Posability-wise, ball joint in the head, and that ball joint is very difficult to get attached. As you can see, I've already kind of bent it a little bit. Ball joint in the lower neck. I should say not ball joint, like a, hin a set of hinges. Another hinge and swivel joint here in the upper arm, front elbow, and wrist or what would be the wrist. Same joints at the back. There is a little bit of torso movement back and forth. And by torso, I mean just behind the front shoulders. Tail articulation, set of hinges on there, set of hinge here, here, and here. So there are plenty of posability options, though you are a little... Oh, and the mouth can open and close. You are a little bit limited just to the overall bulk of the creature. Size-wise, the Triceratops is definitely bulkier than the Velociraptor, though I'm not sure how this scales to reality. I, I honestly do not know. That I would have to Google. Now, compared to a Transformer, here is Pounce, who I keep seeing, seeming to compare everything to. So, for about 10 bucks, you're roughly the same size as a Legends class figure. And in this case, a Legends class figure can totally ride the Triceratops. Heck, two Legends class figures can ride it if you're creative. And the Raptor can even ride the Triceratops. Yes, Pounce, running away is a good idea at this point. Now for the DNA Activator. This will replace the large piece that takes up his neck. And uh, I'm really worried about this because I did not, or I do not think, 
that the component that is used for the Velociraptor is any good. So as you can see, there's no actual activation gimmick for this one. So let's get that in there on his head or on his skull, which requires an obscene amount of effort. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And I've got it attached correctly according to the directions. Pull back the head. Thought you're pushing down the head there. Press button for head thrashing action. Yeah. The new Power of the Primes figures are available for pre-order. Uh -huh. I love the idea of these fossil strikers. I think the idea and the concept is great. I love the fact that you could build skeletons, but the material they have chosen, the plastic that they're going with, is terrible. I mean, we're talking like Bandai early 2010, 2011 Thundercats bad plastic here. The plastic is just awful. All the connectors, all the connectors are softer plastic than the actual bone castings. So you're going to damage pieces when you try to push them in and pull them out too much. Even moving them is just, there's way too much force required to move any of the legs around. It is just a shame because the idea is solid. The execution is not. Would I recommend this set? If you absolutely have to get this or the Velociraptor, get it, put it in dino mode, and then leave it alone. Don't bother doing anything with it afterwards because quite frankly, it's going to break at some point. So folks, let me know what you think of the figure down in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell so you know when I put up a new, a new video review. As always, I am Bolt Matrix, and I will catch you next time.